Sure thing. Um, I'm not only frightened, but what frightens me even more more is that I feel numb. I, yeah. I, in my heart, I feel numb. In my head, I feel sorrow and sadness. But it doesn't get to my heart, and I feel guilty about that. Okay, Bobby, you bring up a, re a number of interesting points here. Emotional numbing is how we deal with things that are overwhelming. But Anderson, one thing I wonder, though, and Bobby brings up an interesting point, are we going to become indifferent to these acts of violence as they become increasingly portrayed in our media? I, I certainly hope not. I mean, I, I can tell you as a reporter who, you know, I see a lot of violence and, and for 20 years have been going to wars and disasters and have seen a lot of death and bodies. Um, and that, that idea of being numb, uh, I, I, I know the pull of it. I understand the pull of it because it, that is a natural inclination to kind of numb yourself. I believe you need to see the, each event with, with fresh eyes and you need to be horrified by it each time. And, and you can't allow yourself to become numb to it because you're not doing the victims any justice by ignoring it or, or, or just writing it off or, or kind of comparing one to the other. Each thing we should be shocked by and horrified by, and it should disturb us and keep us up at you night. You know, I think, I understand, I agree with you wholeheartedly. And in fact,